Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. That is right, today is a Let's Play, not a custom challenge run, because I felt like it, pretty much. Um, in celebration of our recent successes, uh, we, we just got Dark Boy and Samson's Lock. Exciting stuff. Only secret left is Spelunker Boy, and then we have to also find one of the two items, maybe both, but I think it's just one. I'm going to play Isaac for rerolls to hopefully find the items, and just because it's celebratory and I like Isaac, even though I play him for custom runs all the time. Wow, this would be a good use of a bomb. I'll consider it. Uh, Rainbow Baby is a definite keeper right off the start. Rainbow Baby, of course, shoots the tears from other familiars, and that's good times. Uh, so what I want to say first is that today you're gonna have Isaac of course because you're watching that right now but there's only gonna be Dark Souls there's not gonna be any Super House of Dead Ninjas because I can't keep doing three videos a day I just can't so what's gonna happen is either I'm gonna keep going with Dark Souls every day and upload Super House of Dead Ninjas every couple days or three days or something every probably every other day or I'm going to alternate on the two series. I don't know. It depends what you guys want to see. Because like, if you want me to keep Dark Souls up every day, I'm happy to do that. I'm really enjoying Dark Souls. And yeah. But otherwise, it's just going to be that um, Super House of Dead Ninjas is kind of an intermittent thing that isn't on a set schedule, most likely. Or it's on a loosely set schedule. Where it, it's many days, but not every day, or it's a few days, but not every day. It's definitely not ending, though, because I really, I'm having a lot of fun with the game. So I'm definitely not canceling the series or anything. I just can't do three videos every day. Because it's a lot of recording, and I have classes, and also my throat doesn't like me very often right now. So uh, that's pretty much, that's the status of things. So let me know what you'd rather have me do. If you'd rather have me alternate or just uh, upload it when I feel like it. Which wouldn't be infrequently or anything. I will take stem cells. That's a health up. Health up is good. We also have the devil card, which, uh, I mean, that, that is also good. That doubles our damage for room. I don't know why I didn't use it, but I guess I'm saving it for a while. Not that that's a bad thing. Anyway, the, the two items that we're missing in this uh, on this file are speedball and Guppy's Hairball. We found both of those actually on the uh, other file, I believe, and they're both unlocked now in this file, so it's not like I can't find them, it's just that they haven't shown up yet. Especially Speedball though, because Speedball doesn't even have unlock conditions as far as I know, which, I, I mean, it doesn't. I know it doesn't. So it's actually pretty crazy that we haven't found it. I do frequently check challenge rooms and it's a challenge room item, and I think it might be able to spawn in the item room. It's just weird that it hasn't shown up yet. I know it's it's uncommon, yes, but it still, I don't think it's, however, jeez, this playlist is like a hundred some hours. I don't think it's that uncommon. Just want to let you guys know that it's actually really freaking cool, in my opinion. Maybe not in yours, but every single run on this file is on YouTube. All the way from resetting the save to where we are right now, where we almost have Platinum God. Isn't that cool? You can literally watch the whole file unfold, and I talk about it every time, except one time where, for whatever reason, my mic didn't record, and it sucked because I was in a lot of pain that day, and my throat was, like, killing me, and I went and talked, and it was an hour-long video, and the mic just didn't record. And that was really sad. But uh, I talk on the rest of them. Let's see what's in our item room. Anarchist Cookbook, we will certainly touch it to get it out of the item pool. And that'll uh, that'll be that. And then we'll re-roll it, of course. Robo Baby, another familiar. This one shoots laser tears. Those pierce stuffs. Those stuffs being enemies. And it's good times as well. It's a reasonably good infinite range business. It's just technology, basically. Uh, one other thing, leave your custom challenge run suggestions in the comments, and I'll do the ones I like most or the ones I think would be most entertaining. Uh, so please do that. I am running out. And yeah, that's fun times. 
as for this run, I guess I should go to the shop now. It won't be greed, it can't be greed. Uh, but we can certainly get an item. Maybe we'll want to reroll it, maybe we won't. Hopefully it's the compass. Hopefully it's not the candle. Because I don't want to drop the uh, E6. I will take the treasure map. The treasure map shows us the layout of the floor and the location of the secret room. Not the location of the top secret room. And, uh, yeah, that's that's that. Eh, whatever, I've only got one cent. You can have my money. Didn't give me anything. That's fine. Not too mad. I almost wasn't going to record today, and I was going to take my first day off in, like, three months. But then I was like, nah, nah, man. But my throat is in kind of bad shape right now. Don't know what's up with it. But that's why I'm recording less, kind of less being one series less right now and it's not even ending so I mean you guys uh, yeah, yeah you won't have three videos every day but that's that's fine really uh, the Robo Baby Robo Baby is super good against Larry Jr. because of the piercing tears so it can shoot every section at once I took some dumb damage there though and we probably sacrificed our chance to deal with the devil ah there we go Good work. We didn't get a deal with the devil indeed. Now here's the thing. Do I want to take box or do I want to reroll for something else? This is a good question. Box is good and all. I'm going to reroll it. Oh, I regret that. There's nothing I can do about it though, so I guess I'm taking pageant boy. Pageant boy gives me seven coins. So that's pretty sucky. And I don't even dislike Box. Box is great. I should have just stuck with it, but I didn't think Pageant Boy. But of course, you gotta take it, so then you can't get it again. Because if you got Pageant Boy twice in a run, that would just be the worst day. Alright, you're gonna die soon. There we go. Burnt Penny is pretty good. It's every time we pick up a coin, there's a 50% chance that we also get a bomb drop next to it. And yeah, you're all wondering... Why didn't you just go into the item room right there? Well, I'm going to use two bombs instead of one key. Because I'm crazy, but honestly, bombs, while valuable, I think are less valuable. Uh, Maggie's Faith. Interesting. But the bombs are less valuable, of course, because we can get a bunch of them. Especially from something like that, which could have given me potentially three bombs. So Maggie's Faith is pretty good. It gives us an eternal heart at the start of every floor. Uh, lard, yes, I like health. Though I am a bit slower now. Uh, it gives us an eternal heart at the start of every floor, which means we have to hope to keep it until the end of the floor, but beyond that, it is great times. But I'm definitely going to hold on to um, Burn Penny at least until the end of the floor, because that would be silly if I didn't. Because, of course, Maggie's Faith wouldn't do anything for us until the start of the next floor. And thus, why would I take it? Okay, stop shooting out of your butts. It's cheating. If I could shoot out of my butt, well, I, I can. <laughs> and I kind of showed that in the Sacred Hearts run. Okay. Okay, so this is the boss, which is what I was kind of thinking, and I guess I may as well fight the bosses. Okay, so we can't reroll here. Pestilence is just going to give us a cube of meat. Cube of meat will rotate around us. Block and meat tears. Damage any enemy it comes in contact with. And it also stacks with later cubes of meat for, uh, you know, getting cooler stuff. Not half bad, yo. Alright, we're, we're chilling. Our damage is pretty unspectacular. We will fight the second boss as well. Because we may as well to uh, optimize use of our D6. Even though our health situation isn't amazing, it's not terrible at all. We could use the devil if necessary as well. Uh, who are we fighting? Gertie? Uh, yeah, we'll use the devil because uh, double damage is always nice against someone with a lot of health like Gertie. This is also the Gertie that can't fire at us. It can only spawn enemies, so that's also kind of a plus because the shots are probably the biggest cause of damage. Whereas handling some enemies is pretty easy. Especially with the increased damage. That's kind of what led to my decision to actually use the uh, devil. Because it's kind of good. 
for this fight in particular. And as you can see, Gertie's almost dead already. Thanks to my superior decision making. Indeed. And there's that. We get back to full health. We might get a deal with the devil here. Indeed we do, so we'll go in there before uh, seeing what we're really, really rolling. Uh, now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Screw it. Four, five. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take Guppy's tail because that does allow us to. Um... Uh, do I need a range up really at all? No. So I'll come back for that to reroll it. Uh, this means we only need one more Guppy item to uh, become Guppy, which would be exciting. Always exciting to become Guppy. I guess I took damage somewhere. Yeah, I did, I remember. Because I stupidly walked into the boss. Had I not taken damage before that? Because if not, that's kind of embarrassing that that's how I lose Spelunker Boy on the first attempt. But really, there's no hurry at all. I'm happy to do regular runs even without having to go for Platinum God. Then again, I could always play like extra carefully and like try to make sure that I just get Spelunker Boy right away. But that's, that ain't my style. It could be. But more than likely, um, if I don't have it, I'll just stream for it. Because streaming is something I want to do sometime for you guys. And don't worry, there would be like warning and stuff. I would have I do have it at a set time. A lot of you seem to be foreign though, uh, so sorry about that if you wouldn't be able to catch it. But I am, of course, in uh, Eastern Time, so sucks for you kind of that I have to... Uh, work around a certain time zone that you're not in. But it happens to all of us. So we will go reroll that range up, because it's not too valuable to me. And then we'll uh, hit up, hopefully the other item room is at that bottom thing that we're headed towards. And we'll just be maximizing rerolls and doing tons of backtracking, which is why I kind of really, really want a uh, an item of, of Guppy so I can fly. Uh, the health up is actually not a big deal. I will take it. I do want it. And here's the thing. We're going to play him once. So this is just... this is We're going to have the same advantages as if we only had soul hearts. And we also get the chance for him to give us an item that we want to reroll. I don't know if it'll reroll to another devil item. That's not a devil item. But normally they take from uh, devil or angel room items. Whichever the pool may be. Which is Devil Room item in this case. I don't know if we'll reroll it to another one. I'd assume so, but uh, good times. I like that he did pay out in one. By the way, there's literally no reason for me to take that health yet. So I just won't yet. Uh, I could go crazy and open that up. But I'm going to not. I'm going to save my keys, conserve, conserve dash as. And it's going to be great. You're all going to appreciate it. Okay... Good, another key. I like getting more keys. Uh, we almost have enough money to justify going to the shop. Uh, so we are going to like try to make sure that we don't go to any extra rooms so that we can find the item room and uh, maximize rerolls and stuff on everything. So now we're going to go to the shop. We did get some more bombs, which again is why I said bombs are kind of less valuable than keys right now. Oh, I shouldn't have gone in here. I mean, it doesn't matter because I didn't, didn't have a full reroll and we will be going to the shop, though it's quite possible that we'll fight greed which is kind of a negative there so we could be wasting uh, reroll potential or we could not or we just don't care Maggie's Faith I think I will probably be ditching because I don't want to get too many health ups because I can't use Guppy's Paw anymore that's gone ooh fancy definitely want to pick up the 9 volt that gives us a full charge for our item and also makes it so that uh, there are always two ticks charged once we use it, which means that the D6 has become a two-room recharge item, which is pretty great. So hopefully this gives us something really great that we want, like the pack or the mark or uh, something like Polyphemus or Mom's Knife. I don't know, anything crazy. Uh, deck of cards is certainly worth using once. Judgment spawns a beggar. And that beggar will be able to give us stuff, as beggars are wont to be able to do. 
and I'm gonna go two rooms over here, basically, so I can get my recharges faster and reroll the deck of cards, because I figure if I know where it is, I may as well maximize rerolls on it, since I don't want it. Of course, I could look for the item room, but hey, you know, it could be fine, or it could not be fine. I don't know. We're gonna find out. Ah. So what we're hoping for is uh, Guppy's hairball, because that would make us become Guppy, and it would also give us one of the last two items we need. I'm not confident that that'll happen, but it's definitely a possibility. There's another item room, and it spawns in item rooms, and it might be able to spawn from this thing we're re-rolling over there. Over there. So, uh, that's the hope. We'll certainly pick it up. And it'll be good times. Good times, indeed. And we'll go find the item room, and hopefully... Or, or we'll see what this turns into, and, you know, good good things will happen. Crack the sky, I really don't want either. Sorry this floor is going to be super long, and possibly this video as well, since it's not a challenge run, which means we're going normal time. This could be a while, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that, because, uh, you know, it's fun times. This is the way the game's meant to be played, of course. Oh, I'm, I'm getting excited for Rebirth, sort of. And I'm also really excited for my new mic, because I just am. Alright, I can't avoid damage here, but the cube of meat did save us some of that. Oh, well, we got a heart. Not that that's a big deal. Sure, what are you? Health up? Bombs are key. That's actually really good, because now we have lots of keys, and our bombs are replenishable due to the uh, coins giving bombs. So that was definitely a great pickup. And we just got another bomb. Now we'll go reroll again, and then we'll head towards the item room once again, hopefully, ideally, probably. Uh, I guess we could pop one of these chests for feeling crazy. It's not that crazy, I just want to let you know, because we do have ten keys. Yeah, health up, see? It's kind of why I wanted to pop them, because I could get a health up, I could get a range up. And uh, with this health up, that means that if the beggar I spawned from the judgment card is a uh, demon beggar, I have more plays on it. Just give me something good. Blood rights is not good. Allows us to damage ourselves to uh, activate a Necronomicon effect, significantly damaging every enemy in the room. And now we're just we're going back on the path. I'm sorry if this part is boring you, but I am trying to play super duper right, right now. And of course that means waiting to use the beggar until I have more than a little bit of money. Unfortunately, I won't be able to kill these guys uh, all together, most likely. Oh, why would you do that? Well, whatever. Kill three of them at once. I was playing Portal 2 today. It was fun. Uh, yeah, I'll take a range up, because I didn't take one in the boss room, and I don't need to waste my rerolls on that. Because honestly, I, I mean, it helps. All the range I can get helps, because allows me to be safer in my usage of tears and things. Unless, of course, I get, like, Technology or Technology 2 or Brimstone or something that makes my range infinite and uh, inconsequential. But I'm not really counting on that. So hopefully we're going to find the second item room soon. Hopefully we're going to reroll this thing to not a spacebar item and an item that I actually want soon as well. Because that's probably the biggest thing, and I mean, honestly, flight would be great because then I wouldn't have to navigate these rooms in such a tedious fashion. Just... Best friend is also not particularly good. That just... it spawns a doll thing and everything wants to be friends with it, and it's uh, annoying and takes your orbitals and explodes. And in certain situations, anything that shoots lasers at it or if uh, mom's foot stomps on it, you just die. Even if you had a bunch of soul hearts or a bunch of health or whatever, you just die. So really, it's uh, kind of a negative thing there. You gotta pick it up once to get it in your collection, but after that, you probably never want it again. My thoughts. We did find our item room. That's a party. And uh, yeah, sure, I'll take Bobby Bomb. That makes our bombs home in on enemies. And that, that is good times. We're gonna get another reroll. And honestly, we have like two and a half more rerolls, which is crazy. So much to do. Uh, why not? 
Flat penny. Uh, yes. Flat penny is much like the burnt penny, but with keys. In fact, it's exactly like the burnt penny, but with keys. Every time you pick up a coin, 50% chance that a key drops next to it, and uh, it's another key for you. Happy days. Please, though, just give me the hairball of Guppy. Or speedball, I guess. Anything to collect a new item or make some progress, because of course I can't get the Spelunker Boy achievement since I already missed that chance by not getting it when the second boss died. And, you know, taking damage on the first boss. And probably before that. Yeah, yeah, due to my bad luck with rerolling, I will take Distant Admiration, or Forever Alone. Forever Alone is an attack fly that does a bunch of damage, rotates around me at long range. It's not terrible, it's just it's not great either. I am going to stick with Flat Penny and not the uh, Maggie's Faith. Two hearts is good for making a deal with the devil. And that'd be fun. Uh, yeah, absolutely going to pop that. Small rock, that's damage up, tears up, and speed down. So we're definitely moving pretty slowly right now, but that's kind of okay. Because small rock is definitely an item that I really do enjoy getting. Alright, yeah, you bounced off each other, you butts. I hate you. Great. Oh, wow, cancer. Um, du it doubles our rate of fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what we can uh, accomplish with... Uh, yeah, may as well go in here. Skeleton key. Okay, so now the flat penny is definitely obsolete for us. Skeleton key gave us 99 keys. Uh, basically, I came in here because gold chests frequently drop coins, and that means I'd get a bunch of keys. But by getting 99 keys, well, there goes that concern. And now we will definitely take cancer because bombs aren't as important... I mean, they are important, but they aren't as important. So I'm uh, plenty happy... God, I, that, that was bad. I am plenty happy getting good stuff like the key of skeletons. And what do we get here? Nothing. It's fine. Not particularly worried. Hit up Cancer, and then go in here... Again, double the rate of fire is excellent to have. Double DPS, essentially. Uh, yeah, so that that's great. Uh, yes, it would be nice to have the uh, uh, burnt penny as well, but it's not. It's not important. What we're gonna do is we are gonna go in easy, and we're gonna play this three times, just in case of blood bag, as well as to get some more money for the beggar that we want to spawn. And it's more prudent for me to spawn him in the next floor than on this floor, of course, because it's just... If I don't have enough money to pay him off on this floor, then I would have to abandon him. But again, we're going to get down to half of a red heart with the Bank of Blood, because it'd be nice if it paid out with uh, even the IV bag, because I can reroll it. But... Uh, blood bag would be great because that'd increase our speed, which is now so bad. And it would also give us a health up and recover all of the hearts that we'd have. It's normally four hearts. So, uh, you know, this could be good. And it's money. Money is always good as well. Perfect. 12 cents. We could go and buy that soul heart in the shop, but as good as that is, I'm not too concerned, even though we. Actually, since we know where the secret room is. I think it's worth it, we may as well. Every soul heart counts. So we'll go to the next floor, hit up the secret room, hope for nine cents or so, and then, uh, you know, play this beggar. We could play him in secret room for a chance at any of the good secret room items, or we could just play him normally for an item room item, or shop item, or boss item. I don't know yet. We'll see, yo. But God, am I slow. So we're finally done with the caves. We got Depths 1. Curse of the Lost increases the size of the floor by 4 rooms. Which is, uh, you know, not bad. More to explore, more rerolls to get. Not bad at all. We do have a pill. We'll see what that does for us. And what that one does. Because, I mean, why not? It could be full health. 
Free fly, that's excellent. That gives us a fly in our orbital ring. You see it now with the cube of meat. That blocks enemy tiers and damages fly type enemies. And what's this one do? Telepills, that's annoying. Robo Baby does hit the knights from any direction. Which is good because they're annoying. Alright, so that room is now dealt with. I don't care about the health right now. So that's fine to take more. Uh, we definitely can and will at least look in here. It's not speedball and it's only a normal chest, so I don't really care for it. Remember, we have 99 keys. So if we were a golden chest, I may as well take that chance. But we're going to go to the secret room. We're going to take our judgment card again. And see what's up. What's going on with it. See if it's a demon beggar. If so, that's kind of annoying. If it's uh, not, that's fine too. Okay, so here's uh, what we're going to do. We're going to reroll here after touching Dad's key, which opens doors. It's not very useful at all. Definitely want to touch my little unicorn. And just for added safety, we're going to use it so that it definitely can't appear again. And then we're going to re-roll some more in there once we get some more charges. Of course, that only takes two rooms now, which is pretty great. Again, 9 volts a huge pickup, especially for items that have six-room recharges. It turns them into four-room items, which is pretty much awesome. Pretty much. And by pretty much, I mean entirely awesome. So keep that in mind. 9 volt is definitely better than battery, in my opinion. But the battery does have its pluses and minuses. Plusles and minins. Ha! Pokemon, good times. So, uh, hopefully, we get Epic Fetus right now, but I'm not really counting on that. Onk wouldn't be terrible. But do I want to? I want to reroll it more. There are a lot of rooms. I don't want to commit to Onk because we don't have and ideally won't have that much uh, health for it to give us benefit, it would only give us like three hearts then. So I think that it's prudent. And, oh god, I'm so slow. Uh, it's it's a good idea to keep re-rolling it. I don't think that'd be bad at all. Yes, it gives us another life, but it's not a huge, huge deal. Pretty fly, that's amazing. So now we have a full orbital around us, which blocks as many enemy tiers as possible, except if we had uh, Guardian Angel, which would of course make things rotate faster, meaning we'd have better protection. So there you have it. We're uh, at a near optimal situation for that. So let's go back and reroll Ankh. I know a lot of you are probably bothered by that, but whatever. This is a recreational normal run. We already missed the first of the things that we could be getting that we didn't have already, so eh, whatever. 1-Up is less good in this situation, honestly, than the Ankh because it would spawn us with however many red hearts we have, and I don't plan on that being many, so it's not really worth it. It's also worth a reroll, and, you know, only having to die once is a good thing as well. Ah, so we found the boss. We may as well fight it right away. Because why not? So I totally caught up on uh, Doctor Who yesterday, because I'd watched through Season 6, because that's what's on Netflix, but then I decided uh, to finally watch Season 7, which I found. And that was good times, because we, uh, yeah, now I'm caught up. I can watch it on TV when it, when it comes back. I wish I had a British accent. Or, like, a passable one. Maybe I don't have to be legitimately British, but I wish I could speak like I were legitimately British. That would be fun. Are any of you British? I'm sure someone, one of you is bound to be British. Just one of you, though. Out of the 610 of you there are, just one of you is bound to be British. But, I mean, at least one of you must be. It would be silly otherwise. Alright, uh, speed up is actually pretty worth it, but let's see what's in this... Uh... Ah, I was hoping it wasn't Krampus. I expected it to be, but I was hoping it wouldn't be. Uh, so Krampus will give us the Lump of Coal, which is a tier modification that will increase our damage based on how far the tiers have traveled. And it's pretty good. And it, I mean, it's a damage up, so I'm happy to have it. Wow, I just took some damage. God, leave me alone. So, you know, it's a good pickup. I could reroll it for another Devil Room item, of course. But, I don't really want to. What I want to do now is hope that this beggar will pay out in 8 cents. And then reroll his item to something good. 
So as you can see, our tiers do get bigger as they travel along. Or maybe you can't see. I don't know. I'm kind of expecting that we're going to not get this beggar to pay out, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. I do want the speed up for once because I'm very slow and need to be a bit faster. So uh, that... Well, I don't like losing soul hearts, but this is totally worth it just in case of guppy item. That wasn't worth it, though. But if we had gotten a guppy item, we would, of course, become guppy, which would be pretty great. Or if it had just been a uh, devil room item, because it takes from the pool of the devil or angel room, and we had a devil room, so uh, it would take from that pool. That would be good, too. I forgot how to use a bomb for a second. I was like, wait, is it Q or is it E? But then I was like, silly me, I, I know the answer to that question. May as well use that. Take the D6 back. Save us some travel time. Uh, of course, that could be the item room way over there. Way over yon. So I may as well check there first. Because it's only one room away. Which would mean I could use rerolls. Mm, optimally. Indeed. Definitely turning out to be a long run. Indeed, it was the item room. So we know if we want to reroll here or if we want to reroll the secret room. Of course, the secret room could give us Epic Fetus or even just Doctor Fetus. That wouldn't be a big, a bad thing. Definitely want to open up every single chest because it'd be silly not to. Hopefully, we get a Joker card, which would allow us to go back to the um, Dove Room we were just in. Uh, infestation is not bad, but I'm going to leave it for now. I am going to continue rerolling in the secret room. And I'll come back for infestation in the event that we either run out of rerolls in the secret room or get something we want in the secret room. But I would reroll it if I weren't already focusing my rerolls. Spider Bite is good, I will take it. Spider Bite gives us tiers that can slow enemies down, which is quite effective. As you can see right there, it just slowed down that Leaper. And if you haven't noticed, we're not taking much damage from enemy tiers because, like, all of them are getting blocked by our orbitals, which is always a good thing. The Tick is a great trinket that I would take if I didn't have to take the Polaroid. I mean, I suppose I don't have to take the Polaroid, but, you know, that's kind of the fun, seeing me go to the chest. Although sometimes I go to Shoal, because why not? Uh, we do have a reroll, so we'll go reroll Infestation, which a lot of you probably disagree with, but... Yeah, uh, I'm the one playing. I get to do what I want, except reroll Epic Fetus. You're not allowed to do that. You're literally just not allowed. If you do, you're a terrible person. I did it once, and you guys saw me. I might have done it twice, or I at least didn't take it twice at, or more. Uh, ten bombs is not bad, but definitely could do better. Six bombs is enough to last us for as long as I need them. Though we do have homing bombs, it's uh, pretty good times. I unfortunately cannot get to that there chest. I would love to. All I need is a guppy item, and then I take flight. Which is one more reason why I'm rerolling the item room, because I could get guppy's tail, or not guppy's tail, I already have guppy's tail, which gives us increased chest drops and decreased other drops. Uh, no, I'm talking about uh, guppy's hairball. I could get guppy's hairball. Ah, lots more money. See, this is why I want to get a Joker card, go back to that beggar. Now I'd definitely be able to pay him off. Not definitely, but like, almost definitely. We will go to the shop as well, though, because we have 15 cents. Exactly. And this is the depths, so uh, none of the enemies that take our money, except greed, spawn. So uh, that's totally doable as well. I can't get to that chest either, which is also unfortunate. I want to get to all the chests, because I have all the keys. What can you do? I suppose that it's possible that the challenge room, the chest in there, while normal, uh, it, it could have a joker card in it. And that means I will probably do it later. Peeper is a good item. And uh, even as it's a good item, I'm willing to take the chance of rerolling it stupidly and losing out on a passive item that's good or a passive item at all and getting a spacebar item because I want to get new stuff. And because I like rerolling things. Though I don't like backtracking, that's that's the trade that you gotta make sometimes. Yeah, I ain't even afraid of their shots. What you gonna do? Alright, so this tinted rock hopefully has two soul hearts in it. Soul heart and a bomb's not bad either. 
what you got? Wow, three keys and a bomb. I didn't need the keys, but I guess I'm back to 99. Which is a party. This has got to be the shop. So I will go into the shop without uh, maximizing my reroll potential in the item room, both because I do want to take the peeper and because... Can I do this? Can I do this? I don't, I'm not confident. So we got one soul heart, two chests open. Steven, yes. Steven is two damage up, so that is exciting. And uh, that's whatever. Yeah, it's greed, so uh, we do have one more shop, and that shop will not contain greed. We already know, because this one does. And we get a chest. That's not surprising. And I will reroll the steam sail. Ah, uh, notched axe. Well, that sucks. Because I'd rather take the peeper, of course, than uh, the steam sail, because I'm going to have enough money for the shop on the next floor. And uh, the steam sail will be literally worthless after that. Unless we get a, um, I am an I am error room with an item for sale, but I'm not really counting on that. So uh, we'll take the peeper, and then we'll go into the challenge room just in case we can get a Joker tarot card playing card, rather. So what the peeper does is it pops out our left eye, and now shots from our left eye do slightly increased damage, and it also rotates. Well, not rotates. It uh, bounces around the room like Peep's eyes and does pretty good damage to stuff. It also pushes bombs, which is kind of a butt move. Uh, we will, unfortunately, have to drop Cancer, unless we pick up Mom's Purse. But in the case we pick up Mom's Purse, I would totally want rather have uh, the Tick. But I'm not going to plan for that and just take the Tick stupidly because of the fact that, oh, I could get Mom's Purse, and that'd be great. I'm not going to do that. That's just a silly move. Don't do that. Yeah, knight's pretty easy with piercing. You jerk. Okay, give me what I want. Fine. We already know that the devil room is gone, so we won't be able to get back to that beggar, unfortunately. But we're done here. That's what we got. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Yeah, that's that's my Haley Williams. I hope you liked it. No, I'm kidding. I sound just like Haley Williams. Alright, so the secret room has determined which way we're going, and it's this way. Oh god, I've made a huge mistake. Uh, sometimes you notice that uh, the laser shot from Robo Baby gets huge. I don't know what causes that. Assumably, it does more damage as well as being huge. But if not, I don't know, whatever. Go to the secret room where we pick up Epic Fetus. And you guys laughed at me. So now I am using my mouse, but you can't see my mouse. Uh, basically, we've just won. Epic Fetus, uh, of course, allows us to shoot a guided missile as our tears. Oh, that was silly damage. But now I really i am not too worried about anything coming in my way. <laughs> Yeah, that was about right. So we'll touch Tammy's head because we don't really want it. We want to re-roll it. Yeah, I'll take the rosary. That does mean that we'll probably have the Bible in the shop, though. So I, actually, what I should have done is waited to take it. Uh, Sad Onion won't have an effect on us. Tears and damage and stuff don't affect Epic Fetus. Uh, I only shot that fire because, yeah. Uh, shooting fire and poop with Epic Fetus actually doesn't do anything. You can't get a drop from it. I have so many things to reroll right now. I want to reroll literally everything in these three rooms. Able is bad familiar in my opinion, but I, I think that the priority certainly goes to rerolling the uh, room of books. The library doesn't uh, have the Bible in it, so we will not pick up the Bible to get it out of the pool because we don't have to. It's not worth 15 cents in my opinion because there is the possibility that we get... By the way, uh, that's what I was saying. I should have waited to pick up the rosary. Alright, what are you? Bad trip. That sucks. Pre-fly, no effect. Because we physically cannot get... Well, we could, but we can't get enough cubes of meat for... Um... I can get that bombs, but they're literally worthless to get. 
Uh, we can't get enough cubes of meat for our meat cube to uh, leave our orbital, so we, we don't need the third pretty fly, but why not have it, I guess? Doesn't hurt to have. And uh, this boss is made a short work of by Epic Fetus. Fun times. I'm so glad when I get Epic Fetus. It is, ah, game changing. I mean, not that this run was going badly. It was going well, besides our damage, kind of. Our damage wasn't spectacular, so this is our first reroll priority. We will certainly use Book of Sin once. Didn't need it, though. Monster Manuel is uh, not that good. Uh, we will take Abel in the event that we don't get to reroll everything we want to reroll, because we don't have that many rooms, like two, four, six, eight rooms, and one of them we won't be able to leave from because it's the boss room. Actually, we will be able to leave from it because of uh, the Fool card, which allows us to teleport back to the room we spawned in on the floor. So, never mind me, we will be able to come back and reroll whatever we want for all of the rooms that we possibly can. But that, yeah... So that's one uh, more, well, one less reroll that we'll get, or one more reroll that we won't get. Unfortunately, this is a long freaking run, man. All right, but that's because I'm rerolling like a boss. And you know, hopefully you guys just wanted to listen to me talk for uh, an hour and something, because that's what you're getting. Again, library is the first priority of rerolls because that can become two item rooms. Uh, we will certainly use the Book of Revelations once, that gives us a soul heart, and if this were a floor that didn't have a set boss, we would fight one of the horsemen, which would be fine. Because that'd give us another cube of meat. Oh, I'm so glad that I can just do whatever I want with my mouse and it won't annoy you because you can't see my mouse. That's, that's, it's truly freeing. I feel so free, like I said, it's freeing. Yeah, you guys, I'm not too worried about you. Guided missiles, like I said. Alright, what do you got for me? Nothing. Ah, I have a message on the Fache book. Yeah, not too worried here. That's a reroll, but of course we do want to go in here and see if uh, we get speedball or something. Oh, we didn't. But gosh, let's go back to the uh, thingy. Have we got telepathy for dummies yet? I don't know what we have and haven't gotten. We'll see. Uh, I guess I will take Abel because I certainly won't be rerolling again. For Abel, I'll just be rerolling in the library, I'm sure. And uh, Sad Onion won't hurt. It won't do anything, but it won't hurt. So Abel's our third familiar. He mirrors us, which is annoying because that means he shoots bombs back or shoots enemies towards you. He's terrible. Uh, so let's see what this reroll is. Book of Belial doubles our damage, but again, nothing affects Epic Fetus at all. So we don't need that at all. Uh, we haven't gotten the Necronomicon yet. We haven't gotten... Have we gotten all the other books? Again, I don't know about Telepathy for Dummies. We did get Anarchist Cookbook. I'm not good with remembering all the books in this game. That's, that's a fact. Alright, you're gonna all die, and then... Okay. Go away. Go away, Brain Juices. So, uh, yes, let us fight Red Mom. Oh, this is the, like, hardest mom fight for our current setup. Oh, that was my fault. Can barely do the damage here. Oh, God. Yeah, this is actually really hard with Epic Fetus. There we go. Um... Shot speed up in a tarot card is definitely worth a reroll. For a health up, sure. Polaroid is necessary to go to the chest. Uh, we have sacrificed get the library business, but whatever. On to the next floor. We don't need to do anything else. Uh, yeah, we'll certainly go to the room of secrets because uh, there's no reason not to. Uh, that means we'll hope that the boss is this way because we can shortcut it. I. Yeah, whatever. Oh, we still have our slowing effect, or that might be our familiars taking on our tier effects. We should blow up every rock in the womb, because we can, and uh, you can't tell the difference between tinted rocks and regular rocks in the womb, so we might just get free stuff from blowing up random rocks. Though, of course, I've talked about this a few times. There is a theory 
going about that, well not going about, there's one person who has a theory, that uh, you can tell tinted rocks because they don't change from square rocks to other rocks, at, whereas whenever you leave and enter a room in the womb, the rocks do change shapes, they have, uh, you know, varied shapes that they can be, and they'll change each room, but each time you leave and re-enter, but he has the theory that uh, they, the tinted rocks do not change, they're always one of the square forms. Anyway, that was a super duper easy fight. Oh, that sucked. Blow all of you up. We'll take the health up. Health doesn't hurt. Epic fetus, I don't really need the whole Polaroid business. Uh, I certainly don't need the mark. Or the lucky foot, really. Um, so I'll just reroll both of them, because why not? I'll take Lord of the Pit, and I'll take Guppy's head. I know, it was kind of redundant to take the two of them, but, uh, you know, it's fun. And, uh, yeah, I, I know I literally can't lose this last heart, but now I'm Guppy, which means my familiar's tears will spawn flies. Epic Fetus can't spawn flies, because it's just an explosion rather than a tear hit. My familiar's will spawn flies, though those do double my damage, but I don't know if they do double Epic Fetus damage or what. Still, it, it's all in good fun. Lord of the Pit just gave us flight, but Guppy gives us flight, so uh, it really was a dumb choice, but I don't care, because I like becoming Guppy. Uh, will we go up or down? I think right seems like the most likely strategy, but... Oh, I meant to blow up those rocks. I can literally just go right back in, though. Uh, but top left seems like the next best thing. Okay, no tinted rocks. Of course, I should be checking for the top secret rooms as well. Uh, I'm just far too bad for that, apparently. Uh, we did get a tinted rock. There can only be one tinted rock per room, so it's uh, certainly not worth blowing up the rest, but I'll do it anyway. Ha! Okay, like I thought, this is not, in fact, the boss. But, whatever. Not really a huge deal. Um, it doesn't matter which envy we kill first or last. Though, if we kill the blue ones last, uh, we can't get an item drop, because we already have the item drop that we would get. So, shoop de whoop we touch and reroll. And uh, we get speed and range. I could go for some more speed, so why not? Oh. Too far away. Yeah, so, uh, you know, speed. Speed is good times. What are you? The world confirms my suspicion, but we can't go to the boss trap room due to the fact that we have uh, but one red heart, so maybe it was a good decision. Suck it, guys. Suck it. Now I am feeling like a more comfortable speed. Okay, you're gonna die, and then the room's gonna be over. What are you? Bad trip would be full health, but we literally will not get that use out of it. We just die by the time that happens. But, like, yeah, whatever. Don't don't worry, Booty. Soul Heart Drops are always welcome. What do we got in here? Uh, range up. What if we reroll it? Squeezy, I will take because it is two Soul Hearts, not because of the Tears Up. The Tears Up is literally nothing to us because of Epic Fetus. Then we fight Monstro 2. That's not too bad. Uh, we're not going to fight him with the Pro Strat, pretty much because... Uh, Epic Fetus bounces him around too much. And now he's dead anyway. Pop this chest, sure. Uh, by the way, Guppy's tail with Skeleton Key is like the best thing you can have in the chest because that means lots of golden chests and you have all the keys you need. And we already know what the bombs or key pill is, so we're not worried about that because we just cannot use it because we know it. So basically, you guys, I've made all the right choices this run. And, uh, you know, I I just, I don't need to hear any criticism for it. <laughs> I mean, though, if you have it, I'm always open here because I do like getting better at this game, even though I'm already pretty good. But, you know, if you guys think I did something stupid, tell me. Although, up to now, I, I back all of my choices. They, they have been, they've turned out to be proper. And that is due to my keen insight into the inner machinations of this game. And I knew what I was doing. So now I'm literally just going to hold the mouse and we're not going to have to worry most of the time. 
Yeah, the heart stayed down for a while longer than usual there. Remember, the familiar's tears spawn the flies. Ours do not, because our tears are bombs, which don't spawn the flies. They're actually, like, guided missiles, but you know what I'm saying. So, uh, there we go. That's... Oh, God. Up to the cathedral. Got a soul heart. That's good times. Uh, I will go this way, because this, like, it, literally, if the boss isn't this way, that's ridiculous. So, uh, just... Yeah. And here we have some coins. Fine. Lots of rerolls in the chest, by the way. That is also a party. Uh, uh, yeah, war stood no chance. We could, red should, bomb our way through every room and just go directly to the boss fight, which I know almost certainly to be this way. Uh, let's see what's in this tinted rock. But one soul heart. Well, we got it and then lost it immediately. Well, why not kill these fools? That was fun. Got a key for it. And, like I said, I know the boss is this way. Do we know you? Pretty fly. Literally not useful at all. But, see, uh, now, now we're good. Now, fighting Isaac, this should be a pretty easy fight. Flies may or may not be uh, important, but we shouldn't be dealing with too many tears from him. We might beat this without taking damage. Wouldn't be entirely surprising. Due to the fact that we're not firing many tears, so neither is he, we're able to destroy the angelic babies in one hit. And yeah, this is just, this has been easy. No problem, we also have a full orbital ring of protection, preventing most tears from hitting us. I'm not worried. Last hit, and you angelic baby just die. Going in the chest. Where we touch this and then reroll everything because most of those were completely inconsequential to us. Uh, we do want Poison Touch. We want to touch Monster's Tooth, and we also want to take one pill from Mom's bottle of pills. We don't know it, but we already had Telepills. Balls of Steel. Balls of Steel gives us two soul hearts. It's quite valuable. We can't bomb our way out of rooms in the chest, so uh, that's a strategy we're not employing. Understandably, I'd imagine. And we will go to the Room of Secrets, where there is lots of money that I don't need. I don't need to blow up the fires. I should blow up the rocks there, though. For whatever reason, reason the rocks from the womb are reused here. I... Uh, but whatever. Okay, so we get the heart. That's a health up and full health, but I didn't need full health. I could have waited to pick that up until I could get more of them, because picking it up means you don't get it again. Polyphemus and... Um, <laughs> Thin on mushroom, normally great, but with Epic Fetus they are not at all. So they're rerolls, which is ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, we, we could have waited to see if we were going to end up fighting more of the uh, rooms with gluttony. Because we could have gotten more hearts, of course, and then we would have gotten more health ups just by collecting the item a few more times. Of course, you spawn freaking AIDS poop right in front of the door. But it's cool, I will be able to get out of there plenty easily, because AIDS poop disappears once you leave the room anyway, so if I just left the room the other way, I wouldn't even have to worry about it, but I can destroy it well enough to, uh, wow, I took a lot of damage that room, to just leave. Okay, so this was one of the rooms that had the potential to have gluttony in it, but it didn't, so, uh, that's fine that I took the heart there. Got a reroll here, so let's go back, triple reroll. What do I want? Nothing. There's really nothing that I need or want, but uh, I've gone the wrong way to the boss anyway, so we do have to go back. Uh, yeah, I'll hit up the Sacrificial Dagger, and uh, I'll touch the D20, and which familiar will you turn it? I'm going to take it just in case it turns Abel into Brother Bobby. It didn't. It turned Rainbow Baby, my favorite familiar of the three, into Brother Bobby, so that's unfortunate, but... It turns back once it's spilled. I was stuck on the wall there for the whole time. Just so you know. Oh, that was stupid damage. Let's play a little more carefully here. Oh, yeah, sure. Hourglass, not not too appealing. But at least I'm pretty sure I know where the boss is right now. And it's the threat. Wow, I damaged myself. Probably doesn't matter. We do have plenty of health. We haven't lost all that much. Uh, it's funny, this isn't a challenge, if you guys forgot. 
just got Epic Fetus and Guppy. No big deal. Like, what? Who cares? Mr. Mega is blast damage up, but it doesn't affect our bombs from uh, Epic Fetus, so don't worry about it. Oh yeah, I'll just take X-ray vision. That allows us to go right into the secret rooms, no problem. But still, that's pretty unimportant. I... Uh, whatever. Stupid room. Shouldn't be in the game. What can you do? Uh, we are just going to fight Blue Baby. Of course we won't get another reroll anyway, so I just didn't want to go through the AIDS room again anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're going to win now, and it'll be good times. Could use the Fool, of course, to teleport to the spawn room, but... I would do the chest again if we had gotten, like, uh... The, uh, Forget Me Now, for example. Well, literally, that's the only thing that we could get that would allow us to do the chest again. We're taking a lot of damage this time, which is weird, considering we took literally none against uh, Isaac. Jeez, you're just slipping through the cracks with these shots. But now it's about to be over. Flies probably can't hurt us at all, but it doesn't matter. Alright, so we won there. We get a, an Eternal Heart, but we already have won this game. Uh, so leave your custom challenge and suggestions in the comments. I'll do the ones I like the most or the ones that I think would be most entertaining. Uh, do you also tell me how you want me to do uh, Dark Souls and Super House of Dead Ninjas? Because um, as it stands, I'm probably just going to do Dark Souls every day, Super House of Dead Ninjas every other or every third day or something. But I could also just alternate the two, do each one every other day. Uh, so yeah, that was that was a fun episode of Let's Play. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and let's look at my stats. Yeah, I will see you next.